Okay, the first question, who are you and why are you so special? Huh. Okay, well my name is Alicia Russell and I am a writer, a director, producer, an actress. Um, I make a sketch comedy series on YouTube, which I absolutely love. I do that with my daughter, who's 11 and just the brightest part of my life. Um, I've written four feature films, and I'm working on the fifth right now. Gosh, I've lost count of my of my short films. You know, they stem from one page to 30 pages, and I have between 11 and 17. What are of my them? career goals? Well, I want to be the next female Steven Spielberg. It would be such a thrill for me to um, to be guided by him. I have admired his career since I was a child. Part of my career goals are, of course, to see through to that all my films get made. You know, what writer doesn't want to see their films made? What motivates me? Well, I have a few things that motivate me. Uh, the first thing is money. <laughs> Now, I hate to say it that way, it sounds funny, but um, but no, you know, um, if I have money for one of my projects, obviously I get motivated, so that makes sense. Um, the most valuable thing to me which motivates me is my daughter, because I have to set a great example for her and show her that you can live your dreams and that you can accomplish anything, and I've tried to tell her that her whole life and um, I want her to believe it but you know believing you know is not always seen right so um, I need to give her the proof you know that I can do it you know, the internet has really changed the way I've approached my career um, I wanted to be an actress for a long long time ever since I was a, a kid um, I started writing at age of seven, and um, so I've wanted to do quite a few things with my life in the field of arts. When I was 15, that was about the first time I got my headshots. Um, no, actually, the first time I got my headshots, I was four, but um, maybe I'll, I'll show you a slide. Just <laughs> Okay, and... Um, when I was 15, I got uh, headshots again and started auditioning for things, but I was also a bit of a rebel and um, a heavy meddler and, <laughs> you know, wore, wore all my flannels and looked kind of silly, me going out for auditions um, for like Chanel or Stridex or whatever they were. <laughs> and now that we've entered the the internet age and this digital age, it's amazing how fast my arts can be forwarded and to so many different places. I mean, I have short films online and as I said, I have a sketch comedy show online and the whole world sees it, you know? I mean, I, I don't know how many countries um, have actually visited my page on YouTube, but it's a lot. and. I feel very flattered and, and happy that I can show my works to the whole wide world and I don't have to leave my house. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love the internet. I love to be able to meet people around the world. I'm actually a, a world traveler. Um, I want to say world traveler, but actually no, I'm European traveler right now. <laughs> I haven't been to China or India or Russia or any of those places I'd really like to go to, but um, I've traveled extensively all over Europe and um, and it's a special thing to be able to see other cultures and meet other people they're just amazing people are amazing and um, they never fail to surprise me you know how beautiful they are so I enjoy that very much and the internet is what makes that possible for me to meet people and then go and visit them all over the world I love it okay so that's uh, the first round of auditions, and I know that you wanted the second round of auditions also to be done. Um, 
This is the audition for Shauna, as she is the only one in my age category, except on the script. This is, does not uh, show that. It says 20s. So, I don't know. Yeah, I personally don't really like the uh, the sides for Shauna. Maybe because she dies. But, um... <laughs> So, I don't know, you know, as a writer, I picture this a little bit differently. I'm thinking, um, you know, I could also be Kim. I'm more of a, of a go-getter and more of a, a tough one than, uh, than a daddy's girl. Although, you know, I mean, honest to God, I am a daddy's girl. I love my daddy, but I don't know. The Shauna thing. <laughs> okay. I've got my handy dandy cell phone here. <sighs> I know, Daddy, but uh, but I think medical school is really your dream. No, no, I'm great. I'm grateful for you, Daddy. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for everything that you do. I am. Yes. Yes, I still need you to pay rent. Thank you, Daddy. I love you too. Mm. What's up with them? Yeah, at this point there's like, oglers. Ugly, fugly, oglers. In the window, I'm thinking. Um, they come inside, I'm sure they're driving hogs outside, you know, and they're just leather from toe to head and nasty looking guys. Kim, ever think of getting some security around here? Uh, harmless, yeah, right. Well, um, God, that is the worst kind of guy. Oh, God. I'm late. Is that really the time? Oh, damn it. I'm late. Shit. <laughs> it's so unreal. I'm sorry. The next part is uh, she gets pulled over by a cop. Now, okay, everybody gets pulled over by a cop in L.A. Everybody. In fact, I have a story for you, okay? This is the better story. <laughs> because I don't die in the end. But, um... What's funny is my cousin's a cop, and I told him this story. He's actually a sheriff, but I was driving in a carpool lane. I had my daughter on the passenger side up front of my big old, I don't know what it was, God, it's probably an El Camino or something really large. Anyway, had my daughter in front, um, strapped in with her baby seat and stuff, and I was... I was driving in the carpool lane down in San Diego. This carpool lane, there's nothing um, but concrete on the side, so you can't leave. And uh, suddenly I see a motorcycle cop behind me, and he's got his lights going and the sound, whatever it is. And um, so I'm thinking, you know, well, there's no place to pull over. It's one lane. and. Why does he want to pull me over? What have I done, you know? So, um, so he drives up to the side of me. He looks inside my car. You know, this, again, he still has his lights on and the, the buzzing sound, whatever it is. And he looks inside my car, and then he drives ahead of me. And I'm thinking, all right, well, you know, he knows uh, that I can't pull over, especially in this one-lane carpool lane, and he wants me to follow him. So I followed him. I followed him all along the carpool lane, outside the carpool lane, down the freeway, maybe a mile, then off the freeway, then he didn't stop. I kept following him, and suddenly when he turned, I think, to get away from me, I, hmm, I said, I think um, he doesn't want me following him. So I turned around, got back on the freeway, thanked God, and left. So that's my um, funny cop story. And the cop and I don't die in the end like they do in the script. So I don't know. I kind of picture myself more as a Kim because I think I could, you know, I think I can 
attack people and and hurt people. You know, figurative. Not uh, in real life. But uh, I do want to do stunts and things like that, so I think that would be great. I did do stunts once. I did stunts at the Fear Factor live show at Universal Studios. Now that was awesome. I wish I had that on video. And I would submit that to you. The script is, and I don't have anybody to play the officer, so, um, you know, you're just going to have to deal with the imaginary officer. I'm going to have to ask you to step in the car. I can't believe you're giving me this. <laughs> Turn around. Now I want you to walk down that line. Reach down and touch your toes. God. Big ass jerk. I know he's looking at my ass. So anyway. Can you just give me the ticket? I'm in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like us in LA. He, he says, uh, you have something to drink, ma'am? And she says, it's 1.30. Yeah, well, you know what? This is the thing, when I went to Germany, I think it was like the first time I'd, no, 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 this was the second time I'd been there and I was 17 years old and I went down into, um, down to the, the pier where, you know, there's boats going across to the other islands and stuff. And here's these guys, it's 11.30 in the morning, uh, they've got this, um, kind of like this tent pitched and then, um, you know, tables and then of course there's this like, uh, so they had a bar right there on that, uh, you know, the, the pier looked practically abandoned, but they had this one kind of wooden shack type bar there. And there's these guys sitting on this, you know, bench 1130 in the morning down in like these big brewskis, you know, this is pretty, pretty interesting sight, you know. So I learned to drink when I was over there. I don't drink anymore, but anyway. Just a glass of wine on my birthday and other special occasions when they come up. My friend's birthday, stuff like that. Anyway, that is my audition number two. It's a little uh, unorthodox, but um, for round two, what else can you expect? I don't have other characters with me here. And uh, yeah, I could do a monologue, but uh, why? I think you've seen enough of my character. So, um, yeah, have fun. I think you got about 700 auditions at this particular time, and I can't imagine how many more are coming. Good luck. <laughs>